Extreme Trends presents A diver uncovers a lost camera underwater and is left speechless by the footage on it. Before we begin, do us a favor and click that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by these heartwarming stories every day. Digital cameras are very important tools nowadays. People would always want to save their memories in the shape of pictures that will last forever. People were amazed when the first ever camera was introduced back hundreds of years ago. People always want to keep the perfect moments in their lives. As the generations passed by, cameras have become a part of people's lives. It gives us that nostalgic feeling and allows us to relive the past seeing those captured moments whether good or bad. But what if it sunk into the murky depths and got lost forever? How would we be able to reminisce about our experiences? We can rely on our memory, but nothing beats a scene captured by a camera. The same goes for our story today. Rich was an avid hiker and diver who loved filming his adventures. He planned out to fresh off his 27th birthday to Foster Falls without knowing that this trip was going to be different. Back in 2009, Rich started his YouTube channel containing his adventures. A lot of his followers liked his footages, most especially with his cat along for the ride. But then, just this year, Rich wanted to try something a little bit different. This time, he headed up to Chattanooga, Tennessee with some scuba gear to explore Foster Falls, and it seemed like another adventure at the time for him. One part of South Cumberland State Park is the 60-foot waterfall that is a popular destination for swimmers looking to cool off and snap a few pics. And normally, since the pools are so deep, visitors mostly lose their things all the time. When he started his video, he even exclaimed that he might find a drone or an iPhone or maybe a GoPro, and if he is lucky enough, he might even find some cash. With that being said, he took a plunge into the murky depths. He started to dive into the water near the fall. At first, the murky water seemed to be devoid of any kind of treasure, but then Rich spotted something out of the corner of his eye. There, he saw a small black and gold bracelet lying there amongst the rocks. Rich took it straight away and placed it on his wrist before moving forward. Thinking that there's more treasure to be found, he then saw another prize for him. This time, Rich spotted a ring, maybe a wedding ring. Then he dove even further. He located a pair of sunglasses and a discarded turtle shell, until all of a sudden, he saw something much more valuable. There, lying among the rocks at the bottom of the pool was a camera. Rich felt excited to snatch up the GoPro so that he can see if there was any footage on it. He then immediately returned to the surface so that he can review the footage and see if he can get it back to the rightful owners. Upon Rich leaving Foster Falls, he ran into a park ranger who shared some interesting information with him. It seemed like a man named Richard Ragland had drowned there two years earlier. This is when Rich's heart sank. He started questioning himself. Was there any connection to the items he found and Richard Ragland's death? Would this be an answer to everything left untold? He started viewing everything on the GoPro, and when he turned on the camera, he was dumbstruck. As he was going through the footage, he was sure enough that this is the guy when he recalled. Slowly, Rich uncovered Richard Ragland's backstory upon watching each video on the GoPro. He recalled that Richard had grown up in Georgia and later served in the National Guard. Later, he found his calling as an actor, and later on, fate intervened on a road trip with some friends in 2017. While watching everything on his GoPro, that is when the whole story was revealed. Richard and his friends stopped at Foster Falls for a bit of exploring, and when they came across the falls, they had to stop for a swim. That's when Richard pulled out his camera and started filming. He was shocked upon seeing that the situation quickly got worse when Richard was getting pulled beneath the surface and was struggling to breathe. One of his friends tried to pull him up out of the water, but it was too late. The story continued by trying to revive Richard with CPR, but the effort was hopeless. Paramedics quickly showed up to take him to a nearby hospital, but once he had arrived, they pronounced him dead. So when Rich found the video of those final moments, he was heartbroken, listening to some of Richard's last words saying, You start to not take your life for granted and not allow people to manage your life, Richard said. I didn't want anybody to manage my life. Troubled, Rich made a bold choice. He located Richard's parents to show them what he'd found. When they got a phone call, it must have brought some small comfort that they might finally have some answers into that unthinkable tragedy. Richard's mother was also grateful that Rich had sought them out. For him to go through the effort to do his research and make numerous phone calls, he didn't give up until he got in touch with us, and that means the world to us. Though it captured a tragedy, the footage of their son brought some closure to Richard's parents. They weren't sure if they wanted to watch it at first, but they knew to revisit the past was sometimes necessary to heal. The opportunity would not have been possible without Rich. Thanks for watching until the end. Be sure to tap the next videos for more unbelievable stories right here on Extreme Trends.